children, here we go. And this week we're going to be talking about God's love. In a minute I'm going to read John 3.16, speaks about God's love. What do you guys love? So you're older now, so I'm guessing video games? I hope pizza. <laughs> All right. You guys love pizza? Absolutely. Okay, Angelina, yes? Yeah? yeah? All right. Well, now, let's go back in time a little bit. Because I, like, I don't know if there's any young people on here. No. Okay, let's go back in time a little bit. Did you have a favorite stuffed animal? Oh, do you still have it? I was going to make your mom bring it in and say, look. Well, here's what I did. Ready? Ready for this? I hope it don't fall apart. This oh, is mine. Look, he's even got stitches under the arm. He saw him up a little bit. He's got stitches all over. He's got some, some fur left. That you can see he's kind of bare in a lot of spots. So he's bare? Like me. So, but he's still got the bell in his ear. Never understood that. Why would you have a bell in your ear, but he does? Okay, but this is my Winnie the Pooh from, I guess he's got to be 53 years old, maybe, I guess, I don't know. But me and Winnie, we've been through a lot together. We loved each other. And, I mean, we were in, honestly, we were in a two-story building during an earthquake, and the building collapsed, and him and I crawled out alive. Oh. <laughs> Well, actually, it was two refrigerators. It was two. It was a washer dryer box, and I stacked them on top of each other. And it was a, a fake earthquake, and the box fell over, and we survived. Okay. Come on. Did you ever pretend when you were little? Okay. But I love. It. So if you've had something that you've always loved, I, this is what I want to explain to you. God's love is even greater than that. We can't even comprehend God's love. Because the greatest love we know, God's love is even greater than that. And that's what we try to understand, and that's what we need to remember. Uh, because there's times in life where we're disappointed, we get let down. Uh, but God is always there for us, even when it seems like he's not. Because God loves us. He created each of us. He knows how many hairs are on your head. Even if you go rip a bunch out, he still knows. Could you imagine counting every single hair on your head? But that's how well God knows us. God created us. God loves us. And it's a love that will never... Re it's hard to understand. So I want you to think about the things you love the most. And then understand that God's love is even greater than that. 